it's time for another garden update. I think we'll start here on the south end for a change. This is the Musa Bastu banana tree. It's already over three feet tall, so it's well ahead of what it was last year. I'm expecting it to get really tall this year. The Musa Velotina, it's got those two little pups that are starting to really grow. And you might have noticed that we have quite a few volunteer sunflowers. I'm going to let some of those grow. Some of them I'm going to pull out, of course. Since we have the fennel plant, it's almost waist tall. I haven't noticed any eggs from the black swallowtail butterflies yet. But that's coming, I'm sure. Some of our herbs down here. Uh, we should have already harvested that rhubarb, but the rains kind of held us back. We had an inch and a half rain yesterday and two inches the day before. Today there will be no rain, but we have rain coming. We, well, we have a chance of rain for every day for the next week. While I'm here, if I can get over there without tearing something up. This is a blackberry plant we have over by the shed, and it's just covered with blooms. It's just uh, one plant, and it's going to have lots of blackberries on it. The French sorrel is going to seed. I was going to top that, but I haven't got around to it. Just too much rain. That one spinach plant we had over here, uh, it's going to seed. Horseradish is really getting tall. As you can see these sunflowers are starting to grow now. If they ever get some sunshine, they'll really take off. Something's been eating the Mexican sunflowers. Uh, I've waited to thin those out because some of them are getting eaten upon. Corn's really starting to grow. I'll be planting a little bit more corn on this end very soon. Some of these ornamental peppers down here are starting to have some noticeable growth, although they are still pretty small. And we have the edible peppers. Sounds like there's a, a bird fight. <laughs> and we have some sweet potatoes over here. More sweet potatoes. Lots of sunflowers. I need to pull some of those up. Purple flash, ornamental peppers, eggplants, those are ping tongue, medusa, and we have uh, the red garnet, sweet potatoes. Those have an interesting kind of a compact growth habit compared to some of the others that really sprawl all over the place, or that's what it looks like so far. We have a few cucumbers starting to come up in that cage. The desi squash is growing. Yeah, con's gaining some size. White tomasole, tomato, boxcar willy. Then I'm going to squeeze one more tomato plant over here. Removing some of the cages from the eggplants that I had protecting them. Got a sweet basil there. I've got some more basil started that I'll be putting out soon. But everything's starting to grow a little bit now. And if we ever get some sunshine, it'll really take off. That's a shishito pepper. Trinidad scorpion. Those are hybrid peppers. Those are my Oda crossed with black Hungarian, I think. That one is a big bang space chili pepper. Next to a Belgium giant tomato, Aruby's German green, 
and 39.45. Then this next row is ginger and we have a couple of those coming up. There's one right here and another one right there. And the carrots are gaining a little size. You can't hardly see them. Then for the peppers over here we have the Carolina Reaper. That's a chocolate bootla. Then this one I don't remember. I've got a tag buried in the leaf somewhere. That's a white tie. Let's get over here. The onions are really getting big. Zavery there. Trinidad perfume. Uh, Brazilian starfish. It's an ahi pineapple, ahi mango, and ahi lemon. The squash against the fence, and these are uh, Kentucky blue pole beans. Those are my favorite pole bean. The roly polies really did some serious damage on them earlier. But they're starting to grow a little bit now. The zinnias are starting to take off a little bit. Need to thin those out. This is something that I wouldn't have bought for myself, but my sister-in-law gave it to me, and I thought, what the heck, it's free. Might as well put some dirt in it and plant some tomatoes. It's a topsy-turvy tomato tree. There were a couple of parts missing on it, but uh, I made do with what I had. I just have it out in the yard right now. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna where I'm gonna put it permanently. I've got uh, Roma tomatoes in it, and let me go show you something else that's new. Have these bee hotels. I don't know if they'll even use them at all, but I had the wood, so I thought I'd just drill some holes in it. I think uh, if I remember right, the holes in this are. 3 30 seconds, 1 8 and 3 16 Then I have another one over here that's the holes are a little bit bigger. They're kind of odd sizes. Uh, I'll go through the sizes someday if the bees ever start using them, but I just used the drill bits that I had out on hand. We'll see if those get used. A little decoration there. Down here on the north end, we've got that one pretty good sized common milkweed. I transplanted some over here last year. And I have one little one coming up there and one over there. So, looks like the transplant was a success. Got some butterfly weed there, some sweet potatoes in the ground going to be Providing some ground cover soon. Another butterfly weed. The Dickinson pumpkins. Then I have another butterfly weed in a container here and it's getting very close to blooming. And we have the petunias and the hollow logs. Those look terrible right now, but the rain has really been beating these things down. They'll perk up as soon as we get some regular sunshine. Then I had one thing that I had at the end of the video last time. I don't know if anybody even noticed it because it was at the end, but got some petunias in a toilet. <laughs> I know I've lost my mind, but it seemed like a fun thing to do at the time. And these are our straw bales. They're growing pretty well. These dwarf tomatoes. I'm, this is the first time for growing dwarf for me, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they do. Got a few tomatoes in containers too. Well, I'm here to show you my wheat crop. <laughs> Mm 
then we have some peppers here these are odas one of our favorite sweet peppers it's like the birds been fertilizing there it's kind of over here next to our oriole feeders the orioles have really been numerous this year albino bull nose sweet peppers and at the at the uh, base of each bale we have some sweet potatoes and our first pepper of the year is an ornamental called Midnight Fire. It's pretty tiny, but at least it's something to look at. Then I have one here that was supposed to be a black pearl. I saved the seeds and it has no, not hardly any dark foliage on it at all. So I'm assuming it's a hybrid. Well, I'm going to let it grow and see what happens. There's a final petunia in the hollow log down here. Then I separated a couple of pups from the Musa Bass Jew banana tree. And I just stuck the shovel down in the ground and, and uh, pulled it up. And looks like it didn't have any roots, so I just stuck it in this pot. And we're going to see if it develops roots. Uh, probably won't, but you don't know until you try. That's a look at what we have going on in our garden right now. Let us know what's going on in yours. And if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.